an open book, I learned that even my thoughts are to the Lord as an open book. The Lord God's gift of wisdom, knowledge, and unsearchable understanding is found by hearing Christ's words and observing Christ Jesus' life. I am able to see my need to be instant in examining myself. The Lord God, even in his word, discloses to me what my thoughts are. By knowing the Lord knows my thoughts, I am with gratitude fearfully comforted and encouraged. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Warnings concerning words, even before I speak from my thoughts, the Lord has in his word given warnings for me. From God's word I receive admonition, bidding me not to act upon my thoughts. I have been led by scripture to ask for forgiveness should my thoughts be of carnal prompting or evil intent. It gives me relief to know my thoughts are known by God, who I know loves and leads me. In love, the Lord God, who has led me to submit to him, I can testify that the Lord has often redirected my choices, often and repeatedly. Proverbs 30, 32. If thou hast done foolishly in lifting up thyself, or if thou hast thought evil, lay thine hand upon thy mouth. Acts 8.22 Repent therefore of this thy wickedness, and pray God if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. Always for my good. I know from personal life experience, the Lord God is always working for my good. I often am led to acknowledge to myself the Lord moment by moment is intervening in my life. I am made aware the Lord God is always being who he says he is, and the Lord is always doing what he says he'll do. I am led by God, by the words of scripture, often offering God's intervention to correct me. I am continually led to praise God before I experience by correction his caring. Although the experience of being corrected at the moment is not altogether joyful, I am thankful the Lord is always faithful to fulfill his word. Active and alert. The Lord God has proven to me that he as Lord of my life is an alert and active participant. I feel loved and blessed by the privilege of seeking and knowing the working of the Lord. The Lord God has clearly shown me he is able and faithful to intervene, and the Lord faithfully redirects my thoughts and my actions by his word. The Lord's track record. Our Lord God has a beautiful soul-restoring track record. God's word testifies by promises given and kept. The Lord devotedly accomplishes his purpose. The accomplishment of the Lord God's purpose has been confirmed in his word. The promises of the Lord is seen in the lives of his trusting servants. Nothing the Lord God has encouraged for me to follow 
has wasted my time. The way for my soul to know and overcome sin is well established in Christ. Well done before. I rejoice that before the world began, salvation through the Lord Christ Jesus was fully established for fulfillment. In the spirit, I see and claim I am being prepared for Christ's kingdom by God's faithful living and word. I emerge for righteousness sake. By the sealing of God's Holy Spirit, I am declared by Christ to be his. It is by the Holy Spirit that I know I am eternally sealed. And I know I am set apart, sanctified, to live and to minister for the Lord God's sole blessing purpose. I understand by the word that I am washed, sanctified, and justified in Christ Jesus. And by the Holy Spirit, I am led to trust, teach, and exalt Christ Jesus. In order to be blessed, I know I need to serve and to rejoice in the work of God's salvation. I thrive in recalling the Lord God's track record is that which has prepared me. 1 Corinthians 6, 11. Ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. 1 Corinthians 1, 2 through 7. Unto the church of God, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you, and peace from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Revelations Based upon Christ manifesting his ability to know and help me, I have learned with fulfilled assurance I am complete in Christ. I have revelations of assurance from the righteous life of Christ Jesus. I have learned to pay attention to the Lord Christ's words, and I have learned to pay special attention to Christ's life example. I understand by Christ's life example, I am being led to know and acknowledge God's love. I find the way I am to love and lead others to love is fully identified in the life of Christ. Without a doubt, I know the way to all blessings resides in Christ. To have a clear and sure way to salvation, God gave his Son. The Lord Christ Jesus is God's perfect manifestation of love. Christ represents all that the Father has declared himself to be and clarifies all that he planned for man to become, to have as promised life eternal by inheritance with Christ, includes a blessed and thriving life in Christ here and now. Planned guidance. Christ Jesus, I see, is God's plan to guide all mankind. Following Christ, I am led to desire 
and to obtain God's holy and perfect likeness. Christ to me is the gracious expression of his Father's perfect love. Christ Jesus from the beginning was sent with the life-giving provisions. Every step Christ made was for guiding all of mankind into seeking his kingdom and to desire his righteousness above all desires. By Christ's sacrificial submissive love, I was led to understand love is doing the will of the Father because of the love of the Father, Christ was sent. Christ was sent to be the good shepherd of the soul. Christ's life as my good shepherd and his words of truth keep me on track. Following Christ, I am led to seek the will of the Father. John 5.30 I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father, which has sent me. Life-giving light. By the true light being displayed in Christ's life, I am set free from the world's constant evolving and established darkness, a most important direction. Christ Jesus gave is for his followers to love and obey him for his Father's glory. I see as Christ my Lord was in heart, mind, and spirit submitted to his Father is the way I am led to submit in love and obedience to Christ for the Father's glory. Just as Christ Jesus cherished and lived by every word of God, I know I am privileged to cherish and live by every word of God. Christ Jesus leads me to know and share the doctrine he shared, same as he obeyed and shared his Father's doctrine. I learned to cherish the opportunity to share Christ. I rejoice in the help given by God for me to follow and share Christ. I strive to make known God's words of truth. Truth is verified in the deeds of Christ Jesus. Through the Father's love, Christ Jesus was sent for man to know and live Christ's commands. The blessings attached to achieving Christ's kingdom I see the ways to the kingdom of God is the love paved way demonstrated by the Lord Christ's willing submission in the life example of Christ my Lord. I see the way to all goodness, righteousness, and truth is verified and obtained by abiding in submission, same as Christ no other. Christ Jesus as my Lord fully leads the way for me to live as I am led by Christ Jesus to know and understand the way of truth and righteousness. I find relief in knowing I am not to commit my life to follow any carnal man. Following the life of Christ Jesus, I am free from vain worship. Worship to me is not true that exalts any person or organization of man. With Christ, I cling to Christ as my kinsman redeemer and so much more. Looking to Christ avoids uplifting man. I look to Christ Jesus as the only way to the Father. Following Christ by studying God's purpose from his life keeps me looking to Christ for direction. To go in the path the Lord Christ set before me is the way I know shall give glory to the Father. By the Lord God's grace, 
I am committed to know and follow Christ Jesus. It is by Christ's grace that I do not ever need to commit myself to trust mankind. John 2, 24 to 25. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not any should testify of man for he knew what was in man. Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. 1 Corinthians 3.11 For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ taught by his spirit. I find Christ can and does intervene by his Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit always teaches with the word, the fruit, gifts, and presence of the Holy Spirit keeps me maturing in my Christ. Christ Jesus has manifested God, the Father's love. I know the constant soul reviving work of the Holy Spirit keeps me connected with Christ Jesus. I am led by the Holy Spirit to remember the words and deeds of Christ Jesus. And in this way, truth is being built into my life. John fourteen twenty six, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. John 14, 17 through 18. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I feel blessed to know I am accompanied through life by the Holy Spirit's teaching presence. The presence of the Holy Spirit is always present. The integrity, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of God accompanies the Holy Spirit. I am so blessed and comforted as I claim and accept God's ever-present help to live God's truth, I feel the spirit of truth is there to give me guidance, and I often rejoice. I know without a doubt that I am indwelt by the Comforter, by the Holy Spirit. I have a living teacher and Christ-honoring encourager led to consider others. I find having firm trust in the Lord God's presence by the Holy Spirit is that which leads in considering other people. It is by the Lord knowing I would need help for teaching and guiding others. The Holy Spirit was planned to teach and lead me in teaching others. It is also for the compassionate treatment of others that I am endowed by the Holy Spirit. I know I am sealed by God's Holy Spirit with purpose. To know the love-based actions I am to have towards all members of mankind, I have guidance by God's Holy Spirit. I am taught to know Christ. To know Christ is to know his love and care for all mankind. In my relationship towards mankind, I know I live to be spiritual salt and light. And as a witness of Christ's merciful work, I know Christ's love is to be manifested through me. Purpose of my life 
to testify to others of Christ being the light of life is the purpose the Lord has for my life. It is by the Holy Spirit that I am able to focus on the life example of Christ towards others. Blessing friends and foes is a priority to direct my life or seeing others by Christ's merciful eyes is my soul's priority. By committing myself as planned by the Father to the Lord Christ Jesus, I am determined to obediently remain in the purposeful study of God's Word. And by relying upon the Holy Spirit, I follow God the Father's plea to hear His Son, and by obedience, I am enabled by the Holy Spirit to manifest the life of Christ to others. Luke 9, 35 And there came a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved Son. Hear him. Hebrews 1, 2 Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Hebrews 1, 8 through 9. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. The Father adds and strengthens. The Father is identified as the one who adds to the church and promotes growth in Christ's church. It is for the growth of Christ's church that the Father takes continual actions by his chastening and company role. John 15, 1 through 2. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it might bring forth fruit.